Hi there, uh, Scott here again. I uh, got a question from a student about doing joint probability distributions. So, if we were tossing a coin three times and recording the outcomes, and x is the number of heads on the first two rolls, and y is the number of tails on the second second two rolls, then uh, we can record the outcomes for. Let's see. We can start by recording the possible rolls we could get, like heads, 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 tails, and so on. And there's eight of those total. And then we can, let's see, we can record to how many heads we get on the first two rolls, that's x. So like in the first case, that would be 2, then 2 again, 1, 1, 1, 1, then on the last two, 0, 0 heads on the first two. Then y is the number of tails on the last two rows. So let's see, we get 0 in that first case, then 1 and 1 and 2, and 0 again. 1 and 1 and 2. And so we can list uh, the sample space out. Like for x, that can be 2 or 1 or 0, and 2 and 2 out of 8 cases, 1 and 4 out of 8, and so on. Then for y, similarly, it could be 0, 1, or 2, and we can list the probabilities out. And then we can calculate the expected value of x. So 2 times 2 eighths plus 1 times. 4 eighths plus 0 times 2 eighths, so each each outcome times the probability. And same for y. And then that's a and b. Then to get the variance of x and y, we need the expected value of the squares. So we take the x value and square it, so 4, then 1, then 0. And the probabilities are the same, so so we take so it's 4 instead of 2 then 1 and 0 are the same then we add and then uh, the expected value of y squared is similar we square the y values keep the probabilities the same ends up being 3 halves in both those cases so the variance of x is the expected value of the squared minus the expected value squared so 3 halves minus 1 squared or 1 half and the same for y Right, then for the correlation coefficient, we need um, we need all that information above plus the expected value of x times y. So I wrote out x times y. That's we take each x value and each y value and multiply it. So two times zero, zero, two times one, two, one times one, one, and so on. Then we can calculate the expectation. It's zero happens four out of eight times. Then one happens two out of eight. 2 happens 2 out of 8 times, so that's 3 fourths. And then the formula for the co correlation coefficient is expected value of xy minus expected value of x times expected value of y over the square root of the variances multiplied. So it's square root of variance x, square root of variance y. And then the top part is 3 fourths, then minus 3 halves times 3 halves, so 3 fourths minus 9 fourths over square root of 1 half times square root of 1 half. And then I'm getting, so 3 fourths minus 9 fourths. So just, oh, realized that I plugged in wrong. Uh, it's 3, it's, it's the expected value of x and expected value of y, so minus 1 times 1. So that's going to be, uh, negative one fourth over one half for the expected value, or for the correlation, and that's negative one half. So great. Hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, have a great day.